Hey everybody, thought I would just do a quick video on how to log into your YouTube page, create a channel, and share a video via email to your students. The first thing you want to do is log into your Gmail account, and I'm going to do that right here. You can use the right arrow key or the left arrow key on your keyboard to uh, go back and forth rapidly through this video. You can also use the pause button. You can change the speed if this is going too slow or too fast for you. Once you've logged into your uh, Gmail page, you can just go right to YouTube. Sometimes YouTube will want you to sign in again on the YouTube page. I have not on this account set up anything yet, so I'm going to go to my channel. Right now this is the home page. In this uh, menu bar to the left here, uh, I'm just going to, or the navigation bar, I'm just going to go to my channel right there. And if you have not set up a channel yet, you'll get this dialog. So you can add a photo, you can select your gender, you can choose your birthday, press continue. When you do this, you'll be getting a YouTube channel and a Google Plus account if you have not done this already. Here's the YouTube channel I just created. You can uh, add channel R, you can add a picture here. Uh, videos I have none. I have not uploaded any videos myself to this account. Now let's just start by trying to search for a YouTube video. Now in fact you don't need a YouTube channel to search for a YouTube video but you will need a channel if you're gonna make any playlists which we'll talk about later. Anytime you want to find any video on YouTube there's this search bar at the top of the page. Let's say I want to find a video about let's say heat engines. Here's heat engines. You can see there's a lot of there's many many videos that I could choose from and a big part of flipping your class will be just looking through some of these videos and deciding which ones you want. I'm going to pick one of his videos right here. I just want to share this and this is the simplest method of flipping. Just find a video you like, share it with your students via email and then you can ask them a question right in the email and they can bring that the next day or perhaps you want them to bring in notes that they've taken. And what I want to do is to share this, I'm just going to go to the share link right below the video click share it'll load up and it'll give me some choices about how I want to share this thing so one way is to just copy this thing copy this link and send that in an email Let's see there's a part of this video that I really want my students to see which is at oh there's that part right at one minute and seven seconds where he does that one part of the derivation so I can actually set whatever start time I want 107 is 1 minute and 7 seconds and notice what it does to this link it will change the link by adding a question mark t equals 1 minute 7 seconds and you can actually program that yourself if you're good at uh, playing with these links or it'll do it for you uh, I can if I want to make it start at uh, 2 minutes and 37 seconds notice that the link changes as well to read 2 minutes and 37 seconds so this will allow you to share any part of this video that you wish. Let's go ahead and share it. Now you can share it via Facebook, you can share it via Twitter, uh, Google+, all these different options. Uh, I just want to send it in an email, so I'm going to go over here to email. Let's say I want to send it to my own domain here, joshua.barclay at wbsd.org. Uh, another way to do this, if I don't, I don't remember everyone's emails, I can just go to my email program and I can just, I'm going to just go to share right here. This is what I had before. I'm just going to copy with Command C. That's all I'm going to do right there. Command C or Control C on a Windows machine. And then I can go ahead and uh, in my email right here, I could do it right here. Uh, just put that right in the email and watch this video and write, say, a six sentence summary and then you can send it to whomever you want here uh, I'll send it to myself and uh, send it to your other students you have or other teachers but anyway you can uh, also send a message if you want and I'm just gonna go ahead and send that here's what it looks like to your student here it is right here and there's the link to it. You can go right to YouTube or the student can actually just click on this and watch it as well. And that's how you set up your YouTube channel and share a video via email. Uh, in the next video, we'll be seeing how to share an actual playlist, a list of videos that you've put together on your YouTube channel. See you next time.